What is Bismarck's pension trap? Germany under Chancellor Bismarck was the first nation to introduce old age social insurance. The system introduced in 1889 set retirement at 70 years of age. Average life expectancy was then 35 for men, 38 for women. In 1916, retirement was lowered to 65, which has been a default for many countries ever since. Today, life expectancy in Germany is 76 and 81 years respectively and rising. Like many countries, Germany today faces the question of how to support growing numbers of retirees without bankrupting the economy. This has been referred to as Bismarck's pension trap. Now your perspective as an individual on retirement is probably like Schopenhauer's glass. You see old age is half full if you look forward to a healthy and active retirement, or half empty if you are concerned about fragility, declining cognitive abilities, and deterioration of the body. But as an economist, I have to ask the hard questions. And for me, the question is not half full or half empty, but rather, who's picking up the tab? You see, retirement is largely a 20th century invention. Previously, people worked until they dropped. This changed when enlightened employers began paying a gratuity as a reward for long and loyal service. This gradually turned into a promise, the promise into an entitlement, and then finally into a guarantee. Now people are retiring at 65 and living up to 30 more years. How can this retirement be funded, especially as an increasing number of otherwise fit and active people are withdrawing their human capital from the economy? This is a central question confronting modern societies. Interestingly, the goal of the Iron Chancellor Bismarck was actually to purchase social peace through a limited redistribution of income. He personally believed that as long as a person was fit enough to work, they should in principle arrange for their own protection, regardless of age. 